families, we are excited to share with you a read aloud of The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson, illustrated by Rafael Lopez, read with permission from Penguin Young Readers, a Nancy Paulson book. After you finish listening to the story, we will share some questions for you to think and talk about. Then you will see a writing prompt. You can use this writing prompt to respond to the text. You can then share your written response with your teacher. Finally, you will see some project ideas for enrichment and ways to have fun interacting with books. Enjoy! Hello second graders! Today we are going to be looking at some poems from Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. As I'm reading, I want you to consider the rhyming words that you hear in these poems. Sometimes rhyming words can really help us to stay with rhythm and to read the poem with the right phrasing. As I'm reading, I will have some opportunities to think about what rhyming words you hear, to consider how it helps me to read the poem, and to also think about what the poem is talking about. I hope you enjoy the poems from Where the Sidewalk Ends. Where the Sidewalk Ends There is a place where the sidewalk ends, and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white, and there the sun burns crimson bright. And there the moon bird rests from his flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends, past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow, and watch where the chalk white arrows go, to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow, and we'll go where the chalk white arrows go, for the children they mark, and the children they know, the place where the sidewalk ends. Shel Silverstein. Some rhyming words that I found in this poem were white, bright. Say that with me. White, bright. Yes, they rhyme. They also rhyme with the word flight. Let's say all three of those words. White, bright, flight. Your turn. Great job. Another set of rhyming words that I noticed were grow, slow, go. Can you find another word that rhymes with grow, slow, go? Yes, the word is no. As I was reading through this poem, I was thinking about how the author really make sure to have that rhyming piece so that we can hear that rhythm. It's really helpful for us to know when to pause because that can help us to read this poem as well. Let's read another poem. The Acrobats. I'll swing by my ankles, she'll cling to your knees. As you hang by your nose from a high up trapeze. But just one thing, please, as we float through the breeze, don't sneeze. What were some rhyming words that you heard? I'm going to read it one more time. As I'm reading, you can go ahead and read along with me or listen for those rhyming words again. The acrobats. I'll swing by my ankles. She'll cling to your knees as you hang by your nose from a high up trapeze. But just one thing, please, as we float through the breeze, don't sneeze. I notice the words please and breeze and sneeze rhyme. 
I also notice that trapeze and knees rhyme. How do you think that having these rhyming words in this poem helped me to keep a good rhythm? I really liked reading this poem. It's very funny. What was the author getting us to think about? Right, I can't imagine hanging from a trapeze by my nose. Thankfully, this picture really shows me exactly what he was thinking. Hug a war. I will not play at tug o war. I'd rather play at hug o war, where everyone hugs instead of tugs, where everyone giggles and rolls on the rug, where everyone kisses and everyone grins and everyone cuddles and everyone wins. What is the author talking about in this text? Yes. Shel Silverstein is talking about hugging instead of tugging, and he talks about some things that happen when you're hugging your friends rather than tugging with them, like giggling and grinning. What are some rhyming words that you heard as I was reading? Great! I heard hugs and tugs. I also heard grins and wins. How do you think the rhyming words helped me to read with a strong rhythm? Yes, if you notice, I was able to read with a rhythm that paused after each of those rhyming words in order to read the next line. The author also uses that word and quite a bit. The word and repeated over and over helps me to keep my rhythm as well. I hope you enjoyed this poem. As I'm reading this poem, I want you to think about the rhyming words that you hear. The voice. There is a voice inside of you that whispers all day long. I feel that this is right for me. I know that this is wrong. No teacher, preacher, parent, friend, or wise man can decide what's right for you. Just listen to the voice that speaks inside. What rhyming words did you hear? Yes, I heard the words long and wrong. I also heard the words you and too. What do you think the author was hoping that we would learn from this poem? I'm thinking that the author wants us to really consider the voice that we hear inside of our head. It says, I feel that this is right for me. I know that this is wrong. We have, to, we have to listen to ourselves to really think about if things are a good choice or a bad choice. No one can help us out as much as ourselves. We hope you enjoyed listening to these poems. Listen as I read you these questions. Then you will have a few moments to share your answers with someone near you. Which poem was your favorite? Why? How do rhyming words help the reader with rhythm? In the poem, The Voice, the narrator tells you an important message. What is this message? Now it's time to write. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil and jot down this idea for writing about the story. 
You can be a poet too. Shel Silverstein wrote many poems about things that happen in life. Now it is your turn. First, think about a topic you want to write about. Second, brainstorm some rhyming words that can help you write your poem. Third, try writing a simple poem with four lines. Use rhyming words at the end of lines two and four. Here is an example for you. Poems can be extra special. Writing one can be so much fun. Poems can be funny, even sad. Won't you try writing one? The rhyming words that I used in lines two and four are fun and one. Have fun. Now it's time to have some fun. You can do any of these enrichment activities to have fun with poetry. Poems are so much fun to write. Many poets write about things they know about. Think about an animal that you know a lot about. Write a poem about this animal. You can consider what the animal looks like or does to help you write your poem. Poems are so much fun to read. You can search for some additional poetry to read using tumble books. As you listen or read the poems, think about the rhythm of the poem. Are there any rhyming words used? Shel Silverstein often used rhyming words in his poems. Think of a word. Create a list of all of the rhyming words that you can for that word. For example, if my word is C, I can make a list of the words that rhyme with C, like he, we, knee, she, be, tree. How many words can you come up with on your list? Have fun!